Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you'll be my patient who just turned 90 years old with dementia. It's been challenging for the whole family to bring her to see me because she just doesn't want to leave the house. Let's see how I can cut her neglected, long, thick nails. Aiko, Aiko, right? Mm -hmm. Aiko? I should know I this. What does that mean? I just means love. So she's just I know. I, I, <laughs> I, call, I, I call means the... Uh, love child. Love child. Yeah, yeah I know. I call. <laughs> That's very pretty name. I call. Yeah. My father does it. Yeah? yeah? Good job. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So ugly names. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. We have Aiko back. How are you, Aiko? You okay? <laughs> yeah. Kawaii. It's good to eat you. <laughs> Well, you haven't been here a while. You can tell these nails are really long, huh? I take every is it painful? It doesn't matter, so. It doesn't matter. I every, day, every night take shower, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's, I, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we're going to take time to... Okay. Aiko just turned 90, right, you yes. said? Yeah. So let me know if it's hurting, okay, Aiko? Yeah. Just let me know, okay, if you feel... Okay. I'll go slow. Let me know if it's hurting, okay? I wonder if she has any nerves down there. Oh, she does, I'm sure. She doesn't get to come out too much? She doesn't want to, just very, um, Oh, she wants to stay home? Just, yeah, just going nowhere. Do, do they cook on their own? Um, my brother, that's my dad does a little bit, but I, I do go off with food. Uh-huh. Sure, sure there's food there. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't cook, though, huh? My dad, he, he, he wanted to, because he was a cook in the Navy, but... Oh, he was? Yeah. There's food, I mean, she just forgets. Oh, she forgets to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> How long did she have dementia? It's been about two or three years. Oh, two or three just years? Getting, just getting worse. It's getting worse, huh? Yeah. Did they give her some medicine? or? She won't take it. Oh, she won't take it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she forgets to take it. I think just hides everything. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Luckily, um, it's a happy, always in a happy state. So. Oh, she is? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that, that's a good type that's of dementia. Bonus, yeah. Because in some a lot of people go the opposite direction. Right. My, my friend's mom has just turned 103, and she's very ornery. Really? Yeah, a lot of a lot more people go that direction, because I see a lot of patients with that, and <clears throat> the family tells me that when they used to be a really sweet person, and then they turn into a little bit, you know, meaner, and then a lot of mean people turn to sweet too. Oh, that's what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> But she looks so sweet. <laughs> uh, you're so funny. This thing is really hard. What yeah, happened? No, That's okay. No, you got it. Doctor, not gonna let him do it. Huh? Yeah. She's saying not to cut it? No, she's like, it's okay. That's enough. No. No, you let him do it. I have to make it look beautiful. Not can be beautiful. Hmm? That one. <laughs> not beautiful, but better. It'll get better. Yeah. Don't touch her. She's filming. Okay. Huh? No, we're going to make it beautiful. <laughs> we're going to grind it. We're going we're gonna to make it. We're going we're gonna to make it match your name, okay? Right? Lovely. Your name is lovely, right? So we're going to make your nails look lovely. Hard to cut it because it's so thick, but I can grind it down really nice, okay? What causes the nails to become so thick? It's a fungus. Oh, okay. Yeah. We took samples, right, last right, time? Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't, um, I don't, I think it came back where you couldn't tell what kind of fungus it was. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So you gave her just something topical. Oh, generic? Generic, and of course, after a few applications, it was hidden, so. Really? <laughs> she won't even use it? It's just, everything just goes somewhere. Yeah. Along with all the poor 
dogs in the house. Really? Yep. Where do they go? We don't know. Really? She's putting it away somewhere. Yeah. For what do you think? You know, you just don't know what they're thinking, right? You're like, what are they going to use it for later? But there's no logic. No. For them, I'm sure there is. Right, right. So you got to get into their head. Figure out why they're doing certain things, certain ways, huh? Yeah. But unfortunately, I was just reading a book recently about dementia. Did you know that there was no word of dementia in 1940s? What did they call it back then? They didn't, they didn't have any people with those symptoms. 1940s. Did they just put them in the insane asylum? No, no, no. What happened was it didn't exist back then because people were didn't have TV, didn't have cell phone. So you know how TV, they dumb you down, right? Yeah. You just watch and you don't think. So there's this uh, neuron in the, in the brain called the index neuron. It's supposed to be um, stimulated all the time with conversations or, or, you know, being something creative, right? So this TV made all these older people, they watch TV all day long, right? A lot, of, a lot of my people that I know. So they stop producing this index neuron. So that's how people become dementia. You worry about social media and the young kids. Well, yeah, well, that's different. what they're, that's what's happening. Yeah. It's just, well, a lot of, a lot of them are getting ADD, right? Because yeah. they're, everything's moving so quickly when they can't keep up with Instant the reality. Gratification. Yeah, exactly. So it's a different kind of problem there. A lot of older folks are just watching TV all day long. And, uh, my dad died of dementia too, so I mean, my dad watched TV for. Yeah, so it was a really interesting book. It talks about we need to continually stimulate our brain. When we don't do that, that's how we become, you know. I wonder with my dad because he's always he's done always uh, reading books and. Oh, he is. You know, he's always done stuff like yeah. that. Uh huh. But he still had dementia. Yeah, he doesn't have dementia. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. This one watches TV. So. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's that's one of the main thing that it talks about is how all this new technology made people just think less and do less, and that's how they become like that. You know. So it's a very interesting book. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word neglected in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And both of my parents were watching TV all day long. <laughs> Literally. You know? In fact, they, they have two TV in the living room. Oh, no. Then each watching a separate show. <laughs> different show in the same room and uh, it was very interesting and my dad died I mean after 25 years of retirement and he, he retired early and that's all he did he literally watched TV 24-7 you know how old was he when he passed 20, uh, 85 okay. yeah but it was yeah, he's not alone a lot of all the folks are watching TV all day long, you know? Yeah, I guess they need to get out and do stuff, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. My mom is pretty good. He, she's, she watches TV, but she's a very active person. Yeah. She's always at, you know, yard, gardening, cleaning, yeah. you know? She was very busy, but my dad was different. So unfortunately, he's no longer here because of that other than that is she pretty healthy other than uh... i think so um it's hard to get my sister stopped communicating with them two years ago so oh. it's all on me and i can't seem to get any information out of either one of them her oh. right hand her finger has been bent for over a year oh, she says oh sorry and i don't know i'm trying to get her to see a doctor but not even sure. Done it. No, you. Me? You. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. But she's pretty. 
healthy otherwise. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, these little things here and there, but nothing surprising for Nike. Yeah. You know. She looks good though. She looks healthy. She's thin and. I got to dance. Not, don't oh. dance right now. Dance. Oh, you like dancing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I like to dance. What kind of what kind of dance? Any. She just used to say jitterbug. <laughs> jitterbug. You do cha cha. I'm a I'm a master cha cha guy. I love cha cha. Cha cha. Okay. Yeah. Do you good cha cha dancer? You you you. Just dance him. No 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 not right now not right now not right now later. No no no. Later. You're gonna lose weight. <laughs> he make you lose weight. Yeah. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, huh? <laughs> no way. You're gonna make it look beautiful, okay? You okay? Is it feeling pain? Am I hurting? No. Is that No. So how did you kidnap her today to come out? <laughs> well, um, my brother has mental issues and he ran out of the house. So my dad said he can't be left alone. Uh -huh. He grabbed her, so I got her. Wow. And he went out to look for my brother. So I, I'm going to keep her all day and do everything that needs to be done. Oh. And, you know, drive her around for okay. fun. <laughs> yeah. Made her. <laughs> Made her change her clothes already. Yeah. What is she like eating? Well, I'll make some noodles for her. Yeah? Everything she has on now is mine, so. <laughs> yeah. I went to Japan in January. Oh, wow. Yeah. I went to the uh, uh, Kyoto and Sapporo. Uh, I went to Sapporo. Yeah, I went to the Sapporo beer factory. Yeah. And then I uh, went to... Um, um, Osaka. Oh, Osaka. Yeah. Yeah, and then there was an earthquake yeah. when I was there in the Osaka. Oh, oh my God. How big was it? It was, well, it was big, but it wasn't that close. But still, it was... It was like a, I was on a roller. I was in a hotel. And I felt like I was in a, like in a moving roller. It rolled and rolled and that's pretty scary because it went for a while. Yeah. So that one that just had, they had it had on. Uh-huh. And they were showing the office building and the two people in there. They're just sitting there at their desk and they're not panicking. And they're just filming the whole thing with their phone. All of them. Really? Like, I guess so used to it. Oh, but that was a big one though. That was pretty big. Yeah. Like, wasn't like 6 something, 6 7. No, 7.8 or something. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. They didn't even need that. But the, the, in Japan, they said they, they have earthquakes like that every three months. In Japan. I mean, I remember going up, you know, we had big ones. Yeah. And they said they were pretty scary. And my mom would just put us under the desk. Oh, really? That's it? And that was it. So, <laughs> it was still like under the desk. Yeah, it's pretty scary. It went for a while. You know? Is she doing okay? Yes. Yeah. It's not yo. It's not. It's not. We were supposed to go in April, March, uh, May. Uh -huh. But I couldn't get my passport in time. Oh, really? Oh. So I might look at it again in the fall. My daughter wants to go. It's so cheap now to go there. I don't like flying. I don't like flying. Oh, you don't like flying. But once you get there, everything's so cheap. Sapporo had the best sushi ever. Oh, Sapporo? Oh, sushi. Excellent. Oh, we ate a lot of uni. <laughs> uni? Yeah, uni. uni yeah, we see. Yeah. We see that, yeah. <laughs> 
uh, well, you Google Translate, you know? I, yeah. I, I mean, I used to speak some, so I understood some of it, but the Google Translate, you know? And then people are very courteous, very nice, you know? They went out of, go out of their way to help you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But well, they realize after a couple of minutes that they need to uh, not talk. <laughs> I do the Google Translate with my Korean hairdresser. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, she doesn't speak any English. No. Really? But I love. I go to Korean town for um, for my hair. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. And you shopping. go all the way over there? I do. Oh, my God. I like her. Apparently. And then I just shop at H Mart more than any other. Oh, really? Oh, you like H Mart? Don't yeah. they have H Mart down here, though? There's H Mart, um, so when I go to, is in Florence, because my daughter works at the ramen place next door. Oh, really? Yeah, but the Galleria Market in Koreatown is really good. Oh, that's where you go. I love that. And then when you're there, you... Have some Korean food. Oh yeah. Yeah. You you, you watch Korean uh, drama too? I don't, but my I can't sit still. My uh, my daughter and my husband watch those. Your husband watches it too? Yeah, I can't sit still for stuff. I'm really long. Oh, those series are long. Yeah, they're long. You have to sit for hours and watch all night. The only one I watched fully was the uh, extraordinary Tony Woo. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I watched the whole thing twice. Oh really? Oh. I don't watch any of those. My wife does. She probably knows about that. Oh, she knows all of it. You know? He likes the uh, you know, scary Korean movies. Scary one? I didn't know you know, they were scary. The scary ones like, um, like The Walking Dead, but it's Korean. Really? Those kinds of things. It's so well done. It's Is that really right? Scary. Oh. No thanks. I don't think you that's... Talk? Why no? I don't like that kind of thing. Oh. Zombies? No. Well, zombies? No, I don't like... I don't like, I don't like those either. No, oh, they make it so real, huh? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They make it too real. Yeah. Doesn't look fake. Yeah. So what do you think, Aiko? Is it looking better? That looks so much better. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Aiko. Huh? You both want it. Huh? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Where where in Japan are you from, Aiko? Where in Japan is you from? Oh Nagasaki. Nagasaki. Oh. Very good. But we stay a little across to Tokyo. Huh? Used to before come here, mm -hmm. cross to Tokyo. Oh Tokyo? Mm, Tokyo cross mm. to my husband working over there. Okay, see? It's better, right? Yeah, yeah. You should come see me more often, right? Okay, kirei ne, kirei natta ne. When do you okay. think he's coming? Few months, few months, okay? Natta kirei datta. My feet are not kirei, but kirei kirei datta. My feet are pretty. Okay, thank you for allowing us to film you today. So you think two months? Thank you for watching my video. As you can see in this video, dementia sometimes makes people not want to leave the house to take care of their feet. This makes it very challenging for the whole family to take care of the dementia patient. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.